Hello, and welcome to A Fan Reads The Star Wars Vault. In this episode, Snowing on the Empire. Even though it was a sequel to one of the most successful movies ever made, The Empire Strikes Back was hardly free of the same types of problems that plagued Star Wars. Unavoidable location delays, a puppet as a lead character, and never before attempted special effects shots sent the budget spinning out of control, disturbingly prompting Bank of America to cancel the production's multi-million dollar credit line. While the movie was still in production, Fox film fired George Lucas's main champion, Alan Ladd Jr. He had saved the company with Star Wars, but Fox executives blamed him for the fact that they had given Lucas the sequel rights and half of the merchandising, something the executives and the board actually had brought on themselves by delaying the budget for the first movie until the last possible second, giving Lucas greater leverage. Lucas, physically and mentally exhausted from his four-year writing and directing ordeal, decided to farm out both for Empire. He wrote a detailed story treatment but hired Leigh Brackett, a noted fantasy and science fiction author, to write the screenplay. She died of cancer just after handing in a first draft. The draft didn't work for Lucas, so he wrote a second draft and then recruited writer Lawrence Kasdan, with whom he'd been working on the screenplay for Raiders of the Lost Ark, to polish it. To direct, he brought on board one of his film school lecturers, Irving Kirshner. Kirshner was reluctant at first. Of all the younger guys around, all the hotshots, why me? Kirshner recalled asking Lucas. I remember he said, well, because you know everything a Hollywood director is supposed to know, but you're not Hollywood. I like that. Shooting started March 5th, 1979 in one of the most inhospitable locations possible, Finch, Norway, standing in for the frozen planet of Hoth where the Empire discovers the rebel base. It didn't give the crew much comfort to know that the ill-fated 1910-1913 Scott expedition to Antarctica trained here. Scott and four of his men died on that trek. The weather was cold and miserable as possible. News reports mentioned blizzards of unprecedented severity. And by the time the second unit finished shooting April 3rd, they had had only five days of really good filming weather. The 16 week schedule for principal photography, which is a bit of a fantasy to begin with, was already slipping badly and production ended up wrapping on September 24th, weeks later than planned. The production's $18.5 million budget was on its way to more than $33 million making Empire a much bigger risk than anyone had planned. That's it for now. Thank you for watching A Fan Reads The Star Wars Vault.